Studio 61, powered by Vantage TV by Frontier. Yeah, remember the deadline's a little later this year. You got a week to go to file those taxes. So uh, we do have some last minute tips here to help you reduce your tax bite or maybe help you along. And for that, happy to have back on the show Paul Schatz from Heritage Capital. Good to see you again. Good to see you, my friend. All right. Uh, I know you like to fly through things, get as much information as you right. can. We've got some on a, on a graphic here. Some of these tips. Here we go. We're going to start with an IRA contribution, uh, Roth IRA. You see that on there too, health savings account. You can sort of lump those together. So IRA, you will get a tax break on the money you, you contribute. You can contribute $5,500 unless you're age 50 or over, then you contribute $6,500. You up. contribute, right, catch up provision, very good. Yeah. Again, that comes off your taxes. A Roth IRA, you contribute with after-tax money, but what happens is the money grows tax deferred, and when you take it out, no tax on it. Yeah. HSA accounts, health savings accounts, $6,750, plus $1,000 extra if you're over 50. Those are for folks who have the high deductible health insurance plans at work. Yep. Um, definitely a layup to do, because you can pay all those co-pays and everything else with that money. Easy. Calling for help, you can call the IRS? You can call the IRS, yes you can. Okay. I don't know if we have the, their phone number there, but I think it's 800-529-1040. 829-1040. 829, thank yeah. you. You, if you have problems and you do tax on your own, you don't have a TurboTax helpline, you can pick up the phone and call the IRS. Obviously, wait times are long this time of year, but they will try to help you. You can use the extension if you need. The IRS will give you six extra months to file your taxes. Anybody, you're gonna file a form, request your extension. However, if you owe money, you must pay that money by the 17th. If you don't, interest and penalties will apply. And th this one, I hate it, but you're right. Don't celebrate a tax refund. Why? Everybody gets all excited when they get a check back from the IRS. But think about it. You're giving Uncle Sam an a interest-free loan on your money. Yep. The perfect taxes are when you're plus or minus $1,000. Now, if, if interest rates have gone up, even if you stuck it in a money market fund for 1%, one percent, one and a half percent. Don't give it to the IRS or Uncle Sam. Yeah, in 2018, everything's going to be changed. So that's uh, the big one. Listen, yeah. tax reform passed. Whether you love it, hate it, it's it's here. The 2018 taxes, which you're going to file by April 15th of 2019, don't wait until the last minute. Start planning now. You're withholding out of your paycheck at work has changed. A lot has changed. Property taxes. Income taxes are no longer fully deductible. Mm -hmm. Start your accountant or your TurboTax or whomever you do should start to give you what's called a pro forma or an estimate of next year and now based on your current taxes. Don't wait. Yeah. Do it now. Get it done. I got that done too. I'm happy I did. Uh, okay, we got a minute left. What do we make of this market? Up 500, down 400. It's it, it's it, it's all over the place. Markets began to correct January 26. Yeah. Normal, healthy, routine bull market correction. We've gone down 11, 12%. One, it feels a little worse because the headlines, every week there's a different headline. First, it was interest rates going up, and then we kind of got back that. Yeah. And then it was Facebook and that scandal. Now we're going to regulate technology companies. And then it's Trump with the tariffs. Why I call the Trump tariff tantrum. Yeah. Tariffs are bad, 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 bad for the economy. They're bad, bad, bad for the markets. If they happen, I don't think they will. It's advertised. Now you've got the FBI raiding Trump's offices. This is what normally happens when stocks make a low. You've mm -hmm. got all this bad news. So, the, so that's what's happening. Going forward, I think we're probably going to all-time highs into the summer. Yeah. This will be long forgotten. It feels worse also because it's gone on for, for in a bull market, in an upward rising market. This correction's lasted longer than most have. Right. But I still think the average person, if you're not comfortable with the movement of your portfolio on the way down, on the way back up, you need to have less risk in it. Yeah. At the bottom, please don't throw everything don't out the window. Scared. Yeah, right. I, I keep hearing that, right? Who cares about the volatility? It's more about the long-term trend in right. a very basic sense. And if you can't handle the volatility, on the way back up, rebalance. Take a little out of stocks and put it into cash or real estate or bonds, something other than stocks which are making you uncomfortable. Yeah, it's about making yourself comfortable. Okay, uh, Paul, thank you so much for the Thanks time. For me. I know, yeah. I There's so it. much to get in there so fast, but that's what we like to do. This is the man for a lot of information real quick. Thank you so much for being here. All right, coming up, a local stadium once again could be getting a multi-million dollar facelift. We're talking about Dillon Stadium in Hartford. Boy, the last time we tried to renovate that, that was a debacle. But another plan is out, and it took a big step forward last year.